internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. Turn up your sound. Can you hear me? Huh? Check one, two. <laughs> I've got a guest on the line, and we had to shift some platforms and make it happen because that's what we do around here. And his name is Locario. You there? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Doing good. That was really weird because I could see you fine, and for some reason it just yeah, wasn't. No, uh... that's, that's how technology happens, but, you know, we're here. We're making it happen, you know? I know, and <laughs> you think that that's how the airplanes work with technology. Right. <laughs> <laughs> People flying on those things. Right. So your name is Lucario. Where are you from? What what area? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've uh, been, you know, born and raised here all my life and everything like that. So, you know, I like uh I like this area. You know, I travel to different places, but I always like being in New York for some reason, you know. You know, they say that uh, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, but I think in LA, if you can make it there, you can make it right. anywhere cuz in LA there uh, right. uh in New York, they tell you like it is. Yeah, and yeah. In, in the Midwest, they never make a decision. Right. And out in California, they're kind of like, "I'm your best buddy," and then all of a sudden, oh, what they, was that? That sharp thing in my back. Where'd that come exactly from? Exactly right. <laughs> you got to be careful out there, you know. Yeah, you guys uh, out there, you tell it, you just say how it is, and that's that's, right. that's exactly right. what's going down. I like it. <laughs> so you're married. You got kids. Um, I'm married. I have no kids right now. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I don't even know if I want them <laughs> you know what I mean, at this point. Oh, that's like, uh, that, you know, like, that's your decision. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, I see people with kids and I'm just like, like they're cute, but I don't know. I'm just like, it's, it seems like a lot of work to me right now. Well, you got to have it in you. I mean, the maternal instinct, I mean, I don't have any kids. My wife's got one, sure. but, uh, they're, they're a lot of work. Right. And, yeah, uh, you know, once you do it, you got to you got to do it. But some people love it. I mean, I know some people that have right. like seven kids and I'm thinking, are you kidding me? I know. I mean, you know, some people are built for it. You know, I don't know if I am. yet. So, oh, yeah. so well, time will tell. Yes. Right. So right. let's uh, move into what it is that occupies your time. What are you doing for a living or occupying or do you, do you got a job? I hope not. Yes. Yeah, so basically <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a dating and life coach. So that's my, my, you know, main thing that I do. So I help people with their relationships, with their love lives. Um, um, I help men and women and, you know, I have products and, you know, DVDs, eBooks for men and women, uh, just basically to help them, you know, get what they need in their dating lives. Because a lot of times people, they in a lot of different situations, you know, in life, we sort of learn how to do things. Um, but when it comes to dating, people think that, you know, they don't need to know anything. They think everything's just going to fall into place all the time. And cool. sometimes you, you're lucky and then some things happen that way. But in most cases, it doesn't. So I try to help people to really get what they want and figure out what they want. Do you work with just anybody in general or you work a specific niche? Um, usually it's people between the ages of about like 21 to about like 45. So that's like, you know, that big group of area, but, um, it's, yeah, men and women between those age ranges, because I get, uh, like so many different emails, so many different people, uh, contacting me from all different walks of life. And, you know, what's interesting about relationships is that everyone can relate to that, you know, to dating and relationships sure. and stuff like that. So everybody has their, you know, different, um, you know, specific situations. And I try to help them with that, but also give a broad perspective when you know most people are watching the videos and everything like that you know, you know i talked with the woman that also does uh, that kind of thing on this she's more of a business coach and then she does the the, the dating helping thing on the on the right. side and i was thinking why don't you fit, find a niche and work like there's a friend of mine that is, he was a golf pro and he taught people how to golf and it turned mm -hmm. out that what he really was doing was finding out what's wrong with this person's relationship and that's why right. he's slicing Right, right, right. Exactly. Well, and, and the thing is, people got to understand, like, everything is relationships. Like, every, yeah. like, we're having a relationship right now. We're talking, yeah. we're interacting, we're getting to know each other. Like, if you go to the store and you buy a, a bag of potato chips, you're having a relationship with the guy at the counter. You're giving him money and you, you're getting the chips. Like, every single thing you're doing is a relationship. So, you know, depending on what specific relationship you're in or what you're trying to get accomplished, there's a lot of different things that you can do to benefit from you know the situation to get what you want and also for the other person to get what they want you know what i mean totally so, 
Yeah, and uh, sometimes I use an analogy because, like, for the business world, a lot of people these days they can hide behind their computer and all they do is they right. throw a link out and say, "Buy my stuff," and they right. forgot the whole relationship part. Exactly. That's right. what takes the time. It's easy to send a link and give me the money, right, but you got to right. build that relationship. So right. the the analogy is, you walk into a nightclub, see a good looking girl, you walk across, kiss, kiss her on the mouth, and say, "Want to get married?" <laughs> exactly right. Could you buy me a drink first? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's like you gotta sort of, you know, build on that in, in certain cases. Cause a lot of times, like even with business, people a lot of times they're they, they buy from people because they got to know the person or the company and they yep. like what they're about. You know what I mean? They like the person or the personality or the image or whatever type of marketing thing they did. So that's the thing that really gets them on that emotional level to want to. Uh, by and that all comes from building that relationship with your customer and all the other stuff. So, giving some props to someone like yourself, I think it's it's interesting that uh, it's important that someone uses a coach because it's possible these people are going at it the wrong way and they don't they're right. not they're not savvy to it. Right. So you need and, to yeah, step and back. That's what I, I always try to tell people that you know having a coach is a good thing because a coach you know they have a lot of information that you might not necessarily have and then you might be thinking okay well. You know, you're, you're doing the same things over and over again. And if you tweak it just a little bit, that could be the world of the difference between you actually getting what you want and you continuing to do the same mistakes over and over again. So it's, I always look at it like um, if you're hiring a personal trainer, somebody might want to lose weight and get fit, but you're, you're going out, working out, but nothing's really changing. And you don't realize like, oh, maybe you got to change your diet, but you didn't understand that <laughs> because, you know, you didn't know that stuff. The personal trainer knows those things to give you that information to help you lose weight. Yeah. So it's always good to have somebody who knows, uh, you know, other things to help you, you know, um, get to the point you, you want to go. Right. You bought the book at Barnes and Noble. It says to do a lot of push-ups and a lot of sit-ups and a lot of pull-ups. Right. It didn't say quit eating the donuts. Exactly right. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you like, why am I still fat? It's like, you know, that's that. And that's what the coach is for. They like guide you in that right direction, you know? So they can say, does this dress make me look fat? No, it's the jelly donuts that make you look fat. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Well, that's pretty cool. So before I get into asking my favorite question, that's the big why question, why don't you share how people can get a hold of you? You got an easy to remember domain name or anything like that we can put into the video and all that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so my main site is mrlocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. That's where you can find all my books, DVDs, programs. but And also for the guys, for the fellas, I have a, a, a membership site called badboymembership.com. So that's where you can get 45 to 90-minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. So that's like one of the things that I'm most proud of. And for the ladies, I have a, another website called hewantsyou.com. So when you go on that site, you can get my free um, audio uh, program, which is called Seven Highly Effective Steps for Finding and Keeping the Man. So I try to, you know. That's so free. cool that you did separate the two because right. it's sort of a men are from Mars, women are from Venus exactly, kind of thing. Right. It's like, so it's like different things with different people. Definitely. Totally. You know? So here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. Why is it you're doing this? Why aren't you teaching like uh, Thai boxing or surfing or why aren't you like a, a, got a record label or something? Why are you doing what right. you're doing? Well, well, what I'm doing what I'm you know doing as far as relationships and dating is because you know I I feel like it's just really fascinating how people relate to each other and I you know I always feel like that. Um, when I see people get what they want in their lives, and especially when it comes to, you know, relationships, romantic relationships and stuff like that, you know, I think it, it benefits them in a way because I feel like you learn more about yourself through the relationships that you have. And if you are, you know, actually having positive uh, relationships with people, then, you know, it, it, it basically reflects on you and, and brings out that positivity within you. So I always wanted to, you know, bridge that gap between a person understanding themselves and also relating to other people and then also in return understanding yourself through those people so it's like i just always thought that was like really cool to understand and really fascinating so i just wanted to you know help people with that and to make them you know have better dating lives and love lives and just lives in general you know well that's pretty cool um the the synergy collaborative the thing that i've got put together similar kind of thing it's a membership kind of thing and it deals right. with five different categories of career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. So relationship, right. it fits into all those things. How's your relationship right. with your income? How's your relationship with your spiritual right. beliefs? Right, exactly. And exactly. how's your really and, it, and, it's, and it's good to definitely have that balance between all those things. Because right. you, know, if you, you can have a lot of money, but then if you're 
depressed, then what does it matter? You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, well, maybe you know. we could do a, a series on relationships and kind of you and I talk about blending it in with each individual category. That would be kind of interesting to do. Yeah, definitely. I'm down. I'm down. Let Other than know. that, let's uh, chat a little bit after this. I'm going to beam this one up. Before before I do that, I want to ask one more question. I'm kind of just curious. When you go out to the clubs and stuff, do you sit back and watch and go, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sit yeah, and analyze everybody? Like, yeah, because I, I, you know, I stand back and I sort of see the, the dynamics of uh, <laughs> people and and what i noticed too is a lot of times the reason why a lot of people have like issues and and you know aren't having like good relationships or aren't really getting what they want is because so many people are focused on impressing other people and trying to get other people to like them versus understanding themselves and just being themselves and then attracting the people who like them for who they are so that's like a really big issue that i find a lot when it comes to relationships you know not just with like dating but just in general even business even yeah. you know how you relate to your family whatever it is is that you have to first respect yourself and respect who you are and then you know put that out there and then you're going to you know relate to other people in that way like i've seen that situation before where the uh, the grungy guy that doesn't know how to dress and stuff the girls right. like him because he's genuine and authentic and then the, right. the other him. guy right. the other guy that's all phony and studly and everything they kind of like he's right. so arrogant right okay <laughs> well i appreciate you taking the time to be on synergy cafe i'm going to beam this up to the universe and uh, then we can uh do a maybe we'll do some more later that'd be kind of fun definitely man i appreciate it if you want to hang on we'll chat some more later so be well enjoy all thanks all right take care appreciate it